During the EBRT 2021, the, the session of Class on Service Creation, the educational session, uh, was uh, presented by three eminent speakers. The first speaker was Devon Sholnant, uh, who is coming from the, one of the three major unload centers in Europe. And the high level experience was presented by him uh, with a global overview of the, the approach to unload doses. And um, during the last years, the new biomarkers have been uh, very uh, implement, uh, very important in the uh, description of uh, cl uh, new classification and for prognosis assessment in amyloidosis. Furthermore, uh, with the, um, the uh, help of the UK and the German and also the Italian uh, amyloid centers, we have now come to notice the frequency of uh, translocation 1114 to be uh, present uh, nearly among half of the patients. And also furthermore, the importance of other um, cytogenetic abnormalities to be, um, uh, to be associated with uh, drug sensitivity has become another concept. And based on these, um, the, the algorithm for treatment is changing. The, the recent one, which was already published by Palladini et al. in 2021, is going to be uh, revised based on the, the very recent Andromeda study, which is now published in New England Journal of Medicine, with contribution from, uh, from many sites worldwide. And uh, this study, for the first time, shows uh, a, with uh, diratumumab in combination with VCD, uh, has improved uh, response rates, but furthermore, for the first time, organ response, doubling the organ response is a major achievement. And uh, with low grade, uh, low uh, risk status, I'm um, this, this is a, a major achievement. And uh, the audience was eager to know if this would reflect to the treatment of uh, intermediate or high risk patients. And this was a question uh, referred to uh, Dr. Sean Long. And uh, it will be possible that with uh, induction regimen such as these, we may be able to uh, improve patient status and uh, make them more uh, uh, ready for a transplant, uh, whereas they were not uh, suitable for transplant with their uh, disease uh, status and, um, uh, and amyloid-related organ dysfunction. So this is one of the issue, major uh, accomplishments. And the second and the third speakers were also eminent speakers uh, from Germany, uh, Dr. Hermann Einzelle, who presented the BITE uh, data, uh, and uh, which was followed by Dr. Nikhil Munchies from Dana-Farber uh, uh, talk on uh, CAR T cells. So BITES are certainly uh, improving because it's you know, providing us a new uh, target. Um, the, the first generation of antibodies were targeting CD38, but with BITES we have now uh, first BCMA, B cell maturation antigen, which is highly, widely uh, applicable for plasma cells. It's, uh, it's more uh, unique and specific for plasma cells compared to CD38. But furthermore, we have even more newer targets. And so this will enable us uh, to uh, target plasma cells who have uh, lost CD38 expression after a daratumumab or isatuximab-based regimen. And, uh, and also, um, um, based on the, uh, uh, the questions which were coming from the audience and which is always being presented, what will be the sequencing of these therapies? So immunotherapies with bites will give us the advantage of having new targets, which are still present on the relapsing myeloma cells. But we also have to uh, take into notice the importance of the lymphocyte uh, capacity and the repertoire, and to not to have a, a paresis of the lymphocytes to be able to create the ADC and the other uh, immunotherapy-related functions. And uh, in this concept, BCMA immunotoxins, the, the drug uh, antibody conjugate 
Melantamab seems to have an advantage as uh, this uh, does not require intact uh, uh, lymphocytes, uh, uh, which is uh, highly relevant for the other immune-based uh, bites. And um, the other question was how to sequence uh, the CAR T cells. And the CAR T cells are, have been very successful in acute leukemia and lymphoma. Um, but the durability of response uh, in myeloma patients uh, has been a major uh, question. And uh, Dr. Munshi discussed a lot on the importance of antigen loss, BCMA antigen loss, as one of the rare but important uh, subjects. And uh, the, the, the tools to overcome resistance and to prolong CAR T uh, success uh, is an evolving field. And we have now approaches to uh, regain such as BCMA expression by common secretase inhibitors or uh, modification of new generation of CAR T cells with memory T cell uh, functionality that will make um, uh, the, the half-life of CAR T cells longer. Uh, so these issues were all discussed in detail. And uh, one question was coming from the audience about um, the randomized trials comparing and uh, now uh, the, the bites, the new uh, immunotherapy conjugate versus the standards of therapy, such as formalamide-based regimens. And um, certainly these uh, studies will give us uh, an answer of the efficacy of these uh, new uh, classes and of course for their approval status will be based on their results.